Well, well, well. What do we have here? Flags and markings have appeared at Front Gate at Canada's Wonderland. For those of you that know, we have announced a new water slide for 2024 at Canada's Wonderland, and that seemed pretty light, especially for a park with what I know now, um, rapidly expansing, expanding into the theming industry. So what do I think could be going on here? I mean, my wildest dreams would be something like this, <laughs> a very Canadian front gate, a hard reno, something that Canada's Wonderland definitely deserves. Do I think it's going to happen? Uh, not really. I mean, I don't think it's impossible, but I, I've i lost a little faith in us getting a hard reno at Canada's Wonderland on our front gate. However, it is definitely very obvious that they have plans to do something with front gate over this year or next year or sometimes in the next three years max. So these markings are definitely interesting. Even further, the utility lines leading away from the front gate towards Dragonfire and Flight Deck and Time Warp are all marked up. Furthermore, proving that there will be some sort of digging occurring in these areas. There's even flags marking the utility the utility lines underneath the hammerhead of Leviathan as well. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye on this as we predict or further speculate if this is going to be a hard front gate reno or a soft front gate reno. RMC on Wild Beast. We've been speculating this. It's driven a lot of the Canadian uh, enthusiasts uh, wild. And I have the answer for you. It does not mean Rocky Mountain construction. It means ready mix concrete. So this marking on the support is on top of a footing that needs to be redone. And the RMC stands for ready mix concrete. So um, yeah, that, that, that's news I wanted to pass on to you guys. So we are definitely going to hold on to our Gravity Group Reno, hopefully for 2024. There's a lot of markings all over the footings of Wild Beast, and the utility lines are marked inside Wild Beast as well. So again, digging going on. Halloween Haunt Prep. Boy, have I been a hater of Halloween Haunt. I, I have not been the biggest fan of what they are offering for Halloween Haunt and advertising certain things as haunted houses. But I'm here to eat my words and admit defeat. So I have to say, I am actually blown away by the setup for Halloween Haunt. I think that this is a step in the right direction um, in terms of theming. Yes, we have taken a step back in terms of housing and uh, scare zones. But in terms of the level of theming and investments in those areas, it has definitely gone up. I am impressed by, um, I'm going to butcher the name. I keep Everyone in Discord makes fun of me, but Necroopolis. <laughs> That's not how you say it, but that scare zone actually looks amazing. Okay, I just showed it. The skeleton crew redesigned into the Extreme Skyfire plot to allow for more area for people to watch. Amazing. Um, this little haunt shop that's going to be next to the skeleton crew looks amazing. The trick-or-treat street, which I have been an avid hater on for calling it a haunted house, it looks like it's going to be amazing. And I want to say I'm really impressed because the set designs with the stage lighting and all that, to the uh, stage nerd in here and all that... Just the entrance gates, I actually love that. It reminds me of Universal Studio. So I definitely wanted to say a huge shout out to the Haunt team, whoever is behind designing Halloween Haunt. I'm impressed. I can see a huge difference in terms of elevated theming and set designs and the set pieces. Um, yes, obviously, as theme park enthusiasts, sometimes we get a little upset when we see things disappear or the numbers of things disappear and things being, haunted ha being called haunted houses that maybe aren't. But I, I definitely am here to admit defeat. It looks amazing. And I'm really excited for this Halloween haunt now. I can't wait for next weekend. So I definitely have to say go check it out because I am liking what I'm seeing in the daylight and at night with no lights on, no actors, no nothing. So I can't wait to see what they have to offer with all the, the lights, the sounds, and the actors in place. So I'm definitely going to be at Halloween haunt next weekend. I booked the entire weekend off um, and can't wait to check it out. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Have a good one, guys. Bye.